What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound, so come by and say hello. All right, guys, it happened. Waka Spirit Blade came and Waka Spirit Blade conquered, sold out in, I don't know if this is a record, but 40 Three seconds is what I am hearing. Now, I can validate this. I don't know if it was exactly 43 seconds, but I was live doing the live stream with Godzilla when it happened, and I think I was able to refresh my browser maybe three or four times, and in that span, everything was taken. I think I saw like 497, then 303, then 100 something, and then sold out. So it went fast. There's a lot of people who I'm sure bought a ton of vouchers or unstaked their SPS or bought SPS and did not get one. And I understand the <laughs> I understand the frustration. Now, I need to call myself out because I didn't think that this would happen. I personally didn't think that this would happen. This was a lot of capital to put in. And after seeing the Chaos Legion hype not live up to the or like the Chaos Legion sales not live up to the hype. I did not think that Waka, even though it's a much smaller quantity, so overall much less capital than is required, I did not think that we would be there. A part of me was like, ah, you know, if it doesn't sell out right away, then I might consider getting one like tomorrow or over the weekend. But that was clearly not the case. There is an appetite for this. And there are obviously people who are willing to spend the crazy price of 5,000 SPS and 500 vouchers for the card. So in a way, I'm glad I didn't even try to go for it because as we're seeing already, voucher prices have plummeted. So I was also wrong about that. Going to call myself out twice in this video because I thought that vouchers would have a new floor price uh, at about the $2-ish range because people would be thinking, well, if I'm not going to, you know, if even if I can't use it here, I don't really want to sell because I want to start stacking vouchers for the next promo, which we don't know when that's coming. And it's probably going to be a while based on the last town hall. But that was not the case. So voucher prices are now down. Waka Spirit Blades are completely sold out. And uh, I got to give a shout out and a congratulations to uh, the friend of the channel here, Darkest Knight. If you guys haven't watched the interview with him, please make sure to check that one out. Uh, he went for it. He got it. And he got a gold copy. One of 20. So awesome. Incredibly happy for him. And actually, let's go ahead and... Uh, and take a look at these on the market so we can do a little analysis. So these are actually not under Chaos Legion. They're going to be under promo cards. And you can see here, I believe there's been a couple sold already around this price range or around like 2200 maybe. At least that's what I was seeing Jarvie saying. So only one listed gold foil currently going for $150,000. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll see. Maybe somebody's going to bite it. Uh, but it looks like quite a few people got it. They've listed it on here. If you want to rent it out, uh, it looks like the rentals have come down since early on. You could probably get one for about 200, maybe 200 to 250 at the low end for a Waka Spirit Blade if you want to test it out. This is something that I probably will give a test drive out to at some point. Um, so, I don't obviously have my own battles to show you since I haven't played with it, but uh, Darkest Knight has been sending me some of the battles that he has done, and uh, I wanted to show you <laughs> some of the some of the absolute dominance that Waka is having. Now, now keep in mind, uh, I'm not sure what levels these are being played at, but we can we can get a better idea here. Um, let's see if we can find the first instance of Waka. So. Some of the first battles he had, so maybe like an hour, hour-ish ago. But yeah, here. So here were the first two battles. Here's a battle that he actually lost to Waka. So we're gonna go through a couple of these. Um, let's go through this one because there's I see Doctor Blight on the other side, and Doctor Blight. Oh, this is Waka versus Waka. Even better. <laughs> So I think what's going to be interesting about this is to see how people can potentially counter it. Now, actually, I love Dr. Blight, but Dr. Blight seems somewhat redundant here in the sense that he already has poison. But I guess the scavenge and camouflage is really uh, what I like and actually affliction. So this is a game in which Darkest Knight won. Wow, losing, losing a monster right off the bat. Okay, let's see how the poison sticks around. 
All right. Well, that poison didn't really matter because they were taken out right away. Wow. Okay. Well, these just look some, like some overpowered monsters, to say the least. Uh, but still. Oh, wow. Yeah. Corrupted Pegasus is a card that I desperately want because of that tank heal situation going on right there. Yep. All right. Well, there you have it. Okay. So there's one battle. Let's, uh, am I going to have to pull it up? Oh, I'm going to have to type it in every single time. So let's see some of the games. Darkest Night, I'm not trying to call you out, but I, I think what will probably bring a little more value to most of the folks on this channel, like myself, who did not get a, uh, who did not get a, a Waka Spirit Blade, I actually want to see some of the games that you lost, mainly because if I don't have one, I want to know how to counter it. So I see a Yoden here, and let's go to one of the earlier ones where you were fighting against uh, Lorna Shine. Let's see this one. So this is, uh, so both of them are fully maxed out. Uh, playing with Skeletal Warrior, going real small ball here on this. I like it. Well, both of you went small ball. Now, my question is, who and how did they pull off this win? Oh, clutch opportunity. Okay. Sticking that poison right away. Oh, that was a clutch miss for them. Redemption. Ouch. Yeah, I think Lorna is going to be an interesting one to deal with. What's nice about Lorna, or what's nice about uh, Spirit Blade in this case, though, is that you can still stick the poison even if you don't do any damage. All right, so they just bullied you with a bunch of smaller, smaller monsters. Okay, let's take a look at one more. Oops. Um, looks like you beat Tarsa here. Oh, this is the one you just sent me. So <laughs> nice win over there. Um, let me see here. Okay, so against Obsidian, this is a max out Obsidian. Let's watch this one. And again, this is more for our own uh, our own education on how to beat Waka Spirit Blade. So Waka Spirit Blade with Lord of Darkness. My gosh, look look at all of the abilities, buffs, and debuffs here. There's not even enough. Look, the the poison is just literally dripping off the edge of the card at this point. Okay, so Taunt is one of the ways that Godzilla and I were talking about mitigating uh, the exposure to um, mitigating the exposure to to uh, poison. And it looks like this is going to be an interesting one because Mycelia and Chimer Princess both offer triage. So if you're focusing all the damage there, but also double healing in the back, that is very interesting. Okay. So here's a situation where putting in a ton to a ton of damage to my Celic Slip Spawn. Now that okay, my Celic Slip Spawn is going to be an interesting one because of force field. So that is going to come in very handy. That opportunity rule set also is, oh man. Okay. So once he's gone though, there's no real other healing, but it looks as though they're going to be able to do way too much damage beforehand. Oh my gosh. Force field again, coming in very clutch. Okay. And the double silence here. Okay. So obsidian might be a way to get around this. That'll be interesting to see. All right, let's do one more. I lied. I'm enjoying watching these battles and we're not going to close it off with a, a Waka loss because, because it's Waka. So let, let me go ahead and play this one for you. This is the one that uh, darkest night sent me and is the most recent battle. But here is a fight against uh, cards. Like this card gives me so many problems, Elemental Phoenix. Uh, but again, it's what excites me about Waka Spirit Blade isn't necessarily the poison, but the uh, splinter that you're playing with. Death has some of the best and most interesting monsters, right? So Lear of the Dark, I think, is very, very highly underrated. And you're going to see just how much this speed comes into effect here. So let's go ahead and uh, because she gives swift to the rest of the monsters. Now, there are some other cards here, such as Lord of Darkness, that, you know, you're not going to get if you uh, 
if you're playing with only modern format or with the newer cards, but there is a Thorns situation. But see that Magic Reflect coming back through. Wow, wait, what happened there? Oh, okay, never mind. He, he attacked. Okay, hold on, I'm just going to rewind. One second. So he's, so he's going to be able to do that damage. Wow. Okay, so Monkey's taken out right away. He applies the thorns. Reflect damage starts going back. Very cool. And... Oh, was that Giant Killer? It mu that must have been Giant Killer. Okay, I was wondering how he did so much damage. But here we go. Yeah, this is... This is rough, man. These monsters don't mess around. These monsters don't mess around. Uh, all right. Well, congratulations again to Darkest Knight on your gold foil pull on uh, Waka Spirit Blade. And everybody else who's able to get one, I'm incredibly happy for you and uh, not envious at all. Actually, no, it, honestly, not, not envious at all. Of course, I want one, but um, I had the opportunity to try and go for one and I didn't. So I'm happy with the decision that I made. Now, my only hope is that I don't get crushed in every single game I play against Waka. But a really cool card. I want to give a shout out again to the team and congratulate them on a successful launch. Uh, you know, this is something that I think will be used as a template for any other influencers, celebrities, whoever wants to come in and do something cool within the game, which will only bring more and more exposure into this, right? Like, I can imagine, and I hope that Waka will go on his social media and talk about how this thing sold out in less than a minute. And uh, if that's the case, people who are interested in NFTs might just take a look at Splinterlands and get sucked into this awesome game that uh, you and I play endlessly every single day. So that is all I have for you guys today. Again, congratulations to everybody who was able to grab one. Uh, congratulations to the team. Congratulations to Darkest Night. And for all of you out there who are just like me, trembling in fear when we face Waka, I think we should go through and do a little more research on how best to take him on. I think Taunt is going to be one of the best ways to approach that. And uh, yeah, best of luck, guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will catch you all in the next video, and I will see you around the game. Take care.